All right, starting match three here. I'll have to go first. Um, I think I'll mulligan this hand. It's missing a few too many things. I will keep this one. Definitely don't want lands. So I'll just start by playing some Utopia Sprawls. And then we'll kind of see how, how this how things go. Okay. So we could be facing a controlish deck. Hmm. I think you use the Topio Sprawl to get green. And then pass adventurous impulse. And these are the same except one has an ability. So I just go with that, I guess. Alright, Ledgewalker. Alright, Kiln Fiend. So I can either hold back on defense or attack. Um, do I think I can outdraw him? Probably not. I don't think I can outdraw him, so I just need to kind of race him, I think. So here we go. Plus, I think he can give it unblockable pretty easily, so... I just need to pray to draw, uh, like, uh, one of my big enchantments. Though, hitting out theory armor was amazing, obviously. I didn't play my land drop there because um, I will have six lands for my uh, Heliod's Pilgrim. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay. So I think at this point I do have to hold back, unfortunately. Probably still not great because he could just play Apostle's Blessing, but... Okay. All right. Yeah, so I think uh, this matchup is probably tough. They're faster, and it's tough for us to interact with them, especially um, maybe I should reconsider Lignify. This is mostly for standard bears, but maybe I should consider something that's a bit better against um, Blitz, though I don't expect Blitz to show up in uh, in challenges. So hey, I'm not I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But okay, I think I put in Kadusha Strength. I think it's good. Uh, again, I think I cut Rancors. They're a bit weak. I'm pretty sure my opponent's kind of cutting Bolts. I think Hopeful Eidolon is probably just better than a Ledge Walker. Uh, 
I think standard bears are bad because my opponent brings an electric ray, probably. I think I probably just kind of want to hope to outrace him. So yeah, if I'm just going to hope to outrace him, maybe just do something like this. Not sure. Yeah, I don't think standard bears are good enough because they can decide on electricity. And they're gonna, we're probably going to do that anyways, and this just this only stops a few things anyways. So let's try this. Okay, this is a good hand. Very good hand, in fact. This type of hand that could uh, definitely race. Ooh, Adventurous Impulse. I think I still play Abundant Growth and a Boggle. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a very good hand, in fact. This is a turn four kill. Okay, island. So yeah, I think Boggles is an incredibly powerful deck. Um, all it needs is a little bit of consistency, because like, you can usually, I think if you face the Boggles on a match, you can usually count on um, one out of... Let me just put on the Social Mask. You can expect um, to get uh, one of the... Um, one game out of the match as kind of just a free win, just because of how inconsistent Boggles is. So, all right. <laughs> okay, so this is obviously very good. Yep, turn four kill. So yeah, Boggles is very powerful. Um, just needs a little bit of consistency, which hopefully Adventure Impulse will help a little bit. Yeah, this is still a bad matchup, but I don't expect to face it in a challenge. We're both just trying to go fit goldfish each other as quickly as possible. Okay, this is a Reasonable hand. Utopia Sprawl is so good. White. Actually, at some point, I should maybe consider putting it on green just because. That'll give me lands, or that'll give me, um, that'll let me deploy my threats faster. Alright. 
Brainstorm. Looking for lands. Almost certainly. But his draw isn't the fastest. So hopefully we have a shot here. Alright, never mind. Yeah, has everything he needs. Okay, so I should probably be expecting to be dead in a few turns. Um, yeah, so let me try out, start by Abundant Growth. Hopeful Eidolon. <laughs> that's very interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. So I can play that. Because bestowing might be too slow. Oh, like he just plays something next turn and I just die. Because I can go Hopeful Eidolon, Boggle this turn, hope to draw something, like an Aura. Yeah, I think, I think it's fine. I'm sh well, I don't, I don't know if I'm sure that he's taking out bolts, but there's a reasonable shot he's taking out bolts. Apostle's Blessing can't hit Hopeful Eidolon. So hopefully this card is just kind of invincible. Like if I can draw a mask next turn. I just put it on the whole vital on and go nuts. Cyclops. All right, it's good time to be hitting that hit that mask. Nope. Let me start. Let me try adventurous impulse. See if I can hit a pilgrim or something big. I do hit that pilgrim. So. I'm definitely going to be getting the uh, Ancestral Mask here. Definitely going to be chomping. And we'll go from there. Yeah. Nice card. Adventure Simples. You know, if this was a better matchup, this probably could have made the difference. As is, we're probably still dead. So, not great. So yeah, I think at this point, you kind of just hope he doesn't have Hero Battle Rage. I mean, we need to hope for a lot of things. We need to hope he doesn't have Electricery. He probably does at this point, but I can't beat Hero Battle Rage even if I, even if I triple block. Yep, I can't beat Human Battle Rage, so like I would have to chump with all four. Yep. I mean I guess I could block with Hopeful Eidolon and Heliod's Pilgrim, but then I'd be left at one. So Yeah. Oh wait, twenty-six. No, no, I'll still be dead. So yeah. Uh bad matchup. But hopefully you can see that Adventure's Impulse was pretty good there. And um, also this is not a deck that you would expect to see in challenges because it's very weak to 
all the decks that play Interaction. So, all right, 